Hello, welcome to our video solution to problem 8 from Super Quiz 3. In this problem, we're going to be using Bezu's lemma to prove Euclid's lemma in the polynomial ring fx, where f is a field. So what you're going to maybe notice here is that the proof is essentially the same as the proof of Euclid's lemma over the integers, where we use Bezu's lemma, or if you look back to problem seven from Super Quiz 2, we proved a slight generalization of Euclid's lemma, and the proof is essentially the same there as well. And, and of course, the whole point of all this is we can move from ring to ring, and the proofs are essentially the same, right? We say we're going to prove it mutatis mutandis, right? So it's the same proof, but we, we just change the things that need to be changed. Uh, in order for it to make sense in whatever ring you're talking about. But the, the, the structure of the proof is exactly the same. All right, well, let's jump into it. So uh, we're assuming here we have some irreducible polynomial F, and we have two other polynomials, G and H, such that we know that F divides G times H. And we want to prove that F is going to divide either G or H. Well, it could be both, of course. Uh, so... How do we use that f is irreducible? Well, first thing we'll do is assume one of these is false. So um, let's assume without loss of generality, right? Because whatever we do here, if we assume f doesn't divide g and then prove it does divide h, the same proof will work the other way around. So assume without loss of generality that f does not divide g. Well, if it doesn't divide g, it still might have some sort of greatest common divisor right, between the two of f and g. Uh, but because f is irreducible, the only factors of f are essentially going to be f and a constant, all right, which we could take to be 1. So since f is irreducible, the GCD of f and g is equal to 1, or any constant we like. That won't, that won't hurt us too much if we replaced it by a, another constant. OK, well, now we can use Bezu's lemma. So by Bezu's lemma, there exists polynomials. So let's just call them, say, u and v. such that fu, sorry about that, plus gv is equal to 1. All right. And you can see what would happen if this had been a constant c not equal to 1, uh, then we would have just gone through, uh, and a non-zero constant, of course, we could have just gone through and divided by c and hit both of these u's and v's right, with that 1 over c, and then we would have had an equation equal to 1 anyway. So regardless of how we write down this GCD as a non-zero constant, we can always get back to this equation. All right, now our goal is to show that F divides H. So what I'm going to do is multiply this equation through by H. So multiply by H, and that will give us FUH plus GVH is equal to H. But now let's just rearrange this piece here. We could write this as GH times V. And we know that F divides GH. So since F divides GH, there exists a polynomial. Eh, how about we'll call it, uh, I don't know, how about K? So we have some polynomial such that, uh, let's see, this is an FX, such that F times K is equal to GH. So I could rewrite this as fk times v. But now I have an f in each sum end. And so we conclude that f times uh plus kv is equal to h. And u, h, k, and v, they're all polynomials. In f, since it's a ring, we know that their sum product is also going to be a polynomial with coefficients in f. OK, so we have f times some polynomial is equal to h, and so we conclude f divides h. 
So if you go back and look at our proof of Euclid's lemma for the integers, or again, problem seven from Super Quiz 2, which I'll, I'll put a link in the description, then you'll see that the idea of the proof is exactly the same.